What is up, cows and ladies and gentlemen? This is Godzilla here, bringing you the long-awaited part two of Black Ops 2 ideas. Yes, and today I'll be covering the perks that I think should be in Black Ops 2. It would be nice to have, you know, them, uh... Yeah, so I'm probably going to be able to have uh, enough time just to cover the perks, so I have to make a part three for the killer streaks. So, yeah, let's get started. Um, I'm going to have to rush through these because I don't think I'm going to have a lot of time. The first perk is called Double Up. Lets you have one extra and lethal and tactical grenade. That's good if you're an objective player, like, you know, trying to get B Dom or C Dom or A Dom. It don't matter what Dom. But. Um, you don't even have to be Dalmatian, you know, people who think that they need more grenades and flashes and all that stuff. So, that would be good to have extra throwing knives and stuff. And the pro version have double equipment. And you're probably thinking, that's too OP. You would have campers galore. No, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Because it excludes jammers and motion sensors. Because, you know, they're already OP as it is, and I think that would be just too OP. You, you, like, you would be kind of encouraging camping if you had that perk. So double up, I kind of exclude that because I don't want none of that camping mess. So the next perk is called One Man Army. And you're probably like, oh no, have they not learned a lesson from last time? Why is it doing back here? You know, why would we put it in another Call of Duty franchise, you know, game? And it's like, but no, 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 no. One Man Army, the effects of it is exactly what the name says. You're a one man army. You know how you, you get into a team where they are douchey and they don't help you capture the objectives well this perk allows allows you to be going solo you know capture the flag and plant bomb faster when solo that's you know that's good and but the pro is always good like no matter what capture the flag and plant bombs faster at all times so you can't go wrong there no either way you're benefited from it you get to pl get to capture that um objective quicker and now the thing was it was they was already considered this thing perk before and they was like how could we do that when we have multiple people on the thing easy increase the speed by how many people you have that have that perk or something like that that was just the idea I don't know if you can do that or not but it was just kind of a uh, hint or help you know tip maybe they could do um the another perk would be called replenish faster health regeneration after combat you know how you feel like it takes forever to heal up you're like come on now let's heal up and you feel like you know it just takes too long well this is the perk for you it lets you regenerate health faster and the pro is less flinch when shot at who does not like less flinch you know you can't go wrong with there um so the next perk is ninja It's back in the game and the pretty much it is quiet footsteps and invisible to motion sensors and heartbeat sensors. Now, um, I'll tell you what I did with the stealthy perks. I split them up into, I think, three perks, and it is so that you don't have like an OP perk like Assassin in the game. Now, I, I do not want another perk like Assassin in the Call of Duty game. It's just too, you know, powerful. So I split it up. You can either be, you know, I'll get into that later, but you can, you know, you have one of the options like Ninja, you can be invisible to motion sensors and heartbeat sensors. And the pro version is silent objective captures and plants. So it doesn't let the team know when you're capping the flags and stuff. So you don't have to worry about them throwing flag frags and stuff. So that's always good if you're really an objective player. So more of these are like kind of encouraging objective playing because a lot of people worry about their KDR so much and I knew I do it I'm like I'm bad about that doing that too but you know if we have the point sis streaks you know system this would help us be able to reach our point streak faster you know what I mean um the next perk is quick reflex faster melee recovery and faster throwing speed of lethal and secondary uh, grenades um so yeah, that's good, you know, if you, you know, fast recovery after throwing, you know, melee, because melee takes forever. I feel like, especially in uh, All or Nothing, I'm, I'm struggling, like, you know, it feels like they have faster recovery time. And the pro, it's quicker aiming after sprinting. You can aim quicker after sprinting. So that's always good. If You know, it, it always feels like, you know, you, you see them and then bam, it's too late, you know. They already killed you because they're ready for you and you're not. So, yeah, that'd be a perk for you. The other, another perk is Endurance. It's almost like it's pretty much like marathon. Is you sprint for longer distances, and the pro is unlimited sprint for them guys who like to rush to A Dom, B Dom. You know, I'm just using domination as one of the key things, or it could be capture the flag and stuff like that. This would be the perk for you. I just gave it a marathon, a fancy name, and called endurance because it sounds better. Um, the next perk is when killing. It's called pulse, and when killing someone, postpone death marker for 
and the other team. So that's good. So like you know how you think, oh, uh, they killed somebody. They're in the area, you know. They're in the, you know they're in the area. But watch out, it will postpone it so you have time to get out of there. And the pro version is no kill cam for people. Uh, you kill, so that's good. So you can kind of camp a little bit, but it's going to be you know hard to camp in the game. So yeah, um, ghosts. So here's what I'm talking about. Immune to UAV. Pro no crosshair name. But notice it's only immune to the UAV. You're not immune to kill streaks. You know, we'll get into that. There's another perk that does that. And so and then we have Assassin back in the game, but we weaked it down so much. It's legitly more realistic. Assassin cannot be seen by enemy kill streaks, excluding UAV. And pro, your equipment cannot be seen by te technician. Uh so yeah guys, this is pretty much part one of perks. I'll have to make another commentary of the perks thing and get back to you on that. So we'll have a part three on the rest of the perks, guys. Hope you enjoyed these. Peace out, guys. Like to keep this series going. I know you guys like this, my ideas about this. So peace out, guys, and deuces.